Today I'm working on a 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix GT with a 3.8 liter and it's had a couple of issues. Um, first of all, the boot was just a mess. The dealership doesn't carry them anymore. They're required to carry parts for 10 years, the manufacturer is, and have them available. And this is 10 years old and so they don't have it anymore. Just right on the line, 10 years, bam, gone. Um, and the codes that I've had on this, the first code that I had, as you can see, is P128 or P0128 and it just says thermostat temperature below threshold that's a picture I took of the scanner with my phone when you get a code P0128 it doesn't automatically mean that your thermostat's bad but the probability is really high so I'm gonna throw in this uh, other information just so you can check if you have not enough coolant or if it's just not of the right consistency uh, that can do it if your fan's coming on all the time. Say you start your car up and it's cold and the fan's just blowing like crazy. You hear it howling under the hood. Then that's a problem. Um, you could have a bad engine control module. That's not very likely. I mean, these are all fringe things, but usually it's a thermostat. You know, I put tiny witches in the engine at the end just because, you know, there's always that wild card thing that can come up. But the best thing to do is just pull a thermostat. It's really easy to get to. And the probability of it being the thermostat, a mechanical moving part, is really high. So that's what we did first. Um, the thermostat on this, it's really easy to take the cover off. If you're going to have an idiot hood, do it like this, in my opinion. You just pull off the cap and the extension, and then it's able to pull out. And it's just hooked into the back. You can see right there. A little loop so that's super easy um, to get the thermostat out there's really little on these ones look how tiny this thing is I mean it's just itty bitty teeny tiny so we get the thermostat out and what we're looking for you just pull these two bolts here pull the wire harness off of there and it just comes up um, super super easy so what happened with this one I'm gonna hold it up to the light here the temperature was below threshold because you can see that little gap, that little light through there. It wasn't closing all the way, it was getting stuck. And so what happens is the vehicle doesn't get a chance to warm up and get up to operating temperature. And so that's why that code was on there. And what the thermostat does and the way the cooling system works is you have an upper radiator hose that goes through into uh, the intake manifold there and then you have a lower radiator hose that comes out down by the water pump and you go to the radiator and what you want to think of this as is like a circle you know the coolant goes into the engine it picks up heat the freeze gets loaded up full of heat and then it comes back around what the thermostat's job is is it's like a dam like a control gate or a head gate on an irrigation uh, ditch and basically you have a bimetal spring that collapses and expands. I mean these have been around forever. This is really old technology but the bimetal spring opens and closes. You saw that little gap right there. When a thermostat opens the spring contracts and it pulls that so it's wide open and you get maximum cooling. And so the antifreeze comes out to the radiator. It's made of aluminum. It dissipates heat really well and your fans kick on and they cause air to draw through that aluminum you know with all the surface area all the little fins and it gets rid of the heat um, when it gets to the point where it's cooled down enough it's no longer enough to cause this bimetal spring to contract so it relaxes when it relaxes the spring closes it dams off the cooling and allows the heat to just kind of build in the engine your engine runs best around 190 degrees Fahrenheit liquid gas doesn't burn just the atomized surface of it does and of course once you light liquid gas you know it heats it and it uh, evaporates better we call it gas uh, rather than just fuel because it's gaseous you know it evaporates you can watch the little uh, blurry lines of gasoline go up that's what burns it's explosive um, so when your engine's hot when your intake manifold's hot um, it atomizes or it causes the gas to evaporate better you know that's uh, one of the reasons why cars run better when they're warm but they're more efficient and they burn cleaner when they're warm um, not just because the catalytic converters heated up but because the intake the fuel delivery systems warmer the cylinders are warmer it helps that gas to evaporate so that's what the thermostat does is it helps that to happen but if you've got stuff sneaking through like that then you're not going to get the same fuel atomization um, or evaporation and it's just not going to burn as well